Welcome back to Overland Florida, everybody. I'm Kevin, and today I'm going to be going over my Nature Nest 270 degree awning. The other night, I actually installed this on my camper, and I actually be opening it up and showing you guys how to set it up, how easy it is to put away with one person, and go over some of the features. This awning is available on Amazon and is delivered directly to your door. Earlier this year, I did review two of their rooftop tents, and now I have one of their awnings. As you can see, before I had a Overland Vehicle Systems awning, and this one seems to be a little easier to put away. But before we get into that and comparing anything, let's go ahead and get to opening. Now, this is kind of a concern. Uh, whenever I received it, I was missing one of the little hangers for the uh, zipper. So this zipper, fortunately, is really easy to open. So just with one little finger like that, you can open it. And then this one, go all the way to the front. And inside, you do have the awning that comes out. So this awning is gonna come all the way in front of the door and then it's going to wrap around all the way behind the camper right there so we'll go ahead and get underneath this cover there's going to be three velcro straps one right there one in the middle and one towards the back right here so after flipping the cover back to make this a lot easier i'm just going to undo these three straps and then this material should hang down like so and then you're simply just going to pull this part out start walking it back towards the rear of the camper now in this far corner on each end there is a tether so i'm gonna grab this it's kind of like a little leash and then over here there's a hook and there's goose and i usually just hook this to the roof rack you can hook this anywhere you want pull this tight then coming to the front section that's still tucked under here you're gonna grab the same little leash walk this all the way to the front and on the camper I usually grab this and there's Maggie and I clip it right there to that that's pretty tight for right now we'll go around to the other side and pull that tight here it is all set up it's really simple as you can see it's freestanding there are no legs holding this up it's all tied down to the roof rack that's supporting the whole thing plus you have these two tethers that are keeping the tension on it to keep it open there are swing down legs, a little velcro strap, and it is telescopic so that will come down. Um, there is a leg on each one of these arms that come out. Um, another feature that my OVS awning did not have is these all, well not all of them, this one, this one, this one, and that one, they all have LED lights built into them. So with the hardware to mount this, um, you have your U-bolts, all your stainless steel hardware. You do have some tent stakes to keep this down if you plan on having it up in the wind. And you have some uh, nylon rope uh, to keep it uh, secured to the stakes. This is the wiring. It's all USB. And they have little plugs right here. Keep the moisture out. Um, and they all have buttons. So you can turn all these lights on with uh, USB plugs if you have a power bank or if you have an RV or a vehicle that has um, outlets, you can plug them directly into that. Let's talk about the material. The material is thick. It's just like any other awning that you're gonna get quality wise. Um, you can actually, if you see there's Velcro right here, um, they do make rooms. So you can actually make this a room if you're gonna be camping in the snow, camping in the rain, um, you want somewhere dry to get changed or eat, sit down you can idolize um, a room that's uh, gonna slide into here and Velcro's up. Again, this is 270 degrees. They make one that's passenger side, they make one that's driver side, depending on which side of the vehicle you want your awning on. So you do have to specify that, but it does come all the way back. I can cinch that down more to bring it forward that way. So it will cover the rear of the vehicle and it'll swing all the way around, come out roughly eight feet, and it'll go past this front door right here. One feature my OVS awning did not have is this awning has a little kickstand. So you put these little kickstands up. There's one there, one there. Every arm that comes out has one. And what that does is it's going to help the water repel off the awning and not pull up. Um, what happens is people set the awnings up and they go on a hike, they go into town, a rainstorm comes and the weight of all the rain pulling up right here will just rip it or kind of bend it off whatever um, roof rack they have. 
And this right here, these little kickstands. help keep the water off the roof and drain towards the end and as you can see there's a little patch of material and they double it up so it's not going to wear a hole through and it'll do you a service if you lift up with your hand and then set it up don't just try to drag this across the material because that's where you're going to get wear and tear so just hold it up with your hand set it up and that's going to last a very long time but that's kind of a little genius thing that they added I haven't seen that in any other awning I've ever owned. So whether you have a camper, a pickup truck, an SUV, an awning is just an awesome piece of gear to have. It gets you out of the sun if you're going to the beach, camping on the beach, or you're camping in a pasture uh, out west where there's not that many trees, or it's gonna provide you shelter from snow, rain, inclement weather. Um, like I said, this one does have the option. You can turn this into a whole room. Um, I'm not sure if my Overland Vehicle System one has that, um, but like I said, this is a, a really good awning, uh, really thick material. They put a lot of time uh, into welding all the hinges and all the arms that come out. Had this awning been available when I was looking at them, uh, Joey and I paid a lot of money for the OVS. I think they're like a thousand bucks. Um, this one right here, I have a link in the description if you're interested. Um, I wanna say it's $588 for this on Amazon and that'll ship directly to your door, which is pretty awesome. I think I had to pay extra for the shipping for the OVS or Amazon might actually charge for this if it's considered freight. I'm not exactly sure how heavy it is, but it's a pretty good awning and I struggle with the OVS one trying to roll it up by myself. Jillian seems to be a habit bastard. Uh, she can do it by herself standing on the fender, but I always struggle with it. This one, they put a few extra inches of material in the outer casing or cover. So rolling it up on the first try, even if you don't get this tight, or if, let's just say you're racing against time, a storm's coming and you want to put it away really quick, if you have to do it by yourself, um, even if you don't get it really tight when you roll it up, I had no problem zipping it closed, which that's kind of a, a big deal to me because the last thing you want to do is sit there by yourself, try to struggle and uh, put something away and get tired and have to wait till later or ask for help. Um, but being able to do this by yourself, um, is a, is a pretty big win. So I have it all set up. I went over most of the features There's not really a whole lot to talk about at, at the end of the day, it's just an awning. Um, but I'll go ahead and show the closing process and how easy it is to just zip it closed um, when you go to put it away. So first things, you're gonna wanna put your little kickstands down. They do have this little bag that goes across. I'm gonna kind of pull it over. I'm not sure if that was just for shipping because it is kind of just stapled there, but I'm gonna leave them there. It's just extra protection to keep these things down and it'll stop it from uh, rubbing. After putting the little kickstands down, the next step, if you have your legs down, would be to Velcro your legs back up. And then after that, I'm gonna grab the tether from the rear or the front. It doesn't matter which one I do first. You will be folding the front end first. So if you wanna leave this one up, then I would do the first tether first. You're simply just gonna unhook it wherever you have it attached. We're gonna grab right here, just walk it in. While I have the front closed, I'll show you guys the weld, the hinge. It is bolted in right there, so you can't adjust this. These are hex heads, they're not rivets, so you can loosen those up or tighten them if this ever comes loose or you need to adjust it in the future. But it's all aluminum, pretty good welds all the way around. I don't think the hinge is ever gonna be a problem. So we come down to this end. So the front section is what's gonna go first and you wanna make sure there is nothing hanging down because you're gonna to have to push this all the way against. All right, so once you have that in the right order, we can unhook the back and we're gonna walk the back all the way around and put it up against the front one. So I'm kind of closing this up just in time. Today is Tuesday and I think Wednesday evening we're having a possible category three or four hurricane coming. So I wanna make sure I got this video done for you guys. We have the rear section folded flat against the front. As you can see, there's no material. There's nothing hanging down in the way. We just have all the arms closed against each other. Everything is hanging down right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this from the bottom, work my way up, and then I'm gonna pull the cover over across the top. And there's three Velcro straps right there. 
and I'm gonna come down and we're just gonna Velcro this whole thing in place. As you can see here, I'm starting the rolling process. Just gonna start at the bottom, that little corner, and you're just gonna continue to roll this. Normally you wanna get this as tight as you can, but like I said, this cover is pretty loose and it allows you for um, a little bit of air to get through there when you're driving down the road and the heat. So if you have any moisture built up like from the dew or you gotta put this away in the rain, um, having it not as tight is gonna allow for some of that to uh, burn off. So like I said, try to get it as compact as possible without overdoing it, rolling it super tight. So that's the middle Velcro strap and that's basically as tight as you're gonna want it. Um, the good thing about the Velcro is you can cinch this down. So if you didn't get it tight enough on the first try, like I said, you can kind of get that Velcro cinched in there. And this is the bottom of the cover. So as long as you can see that, you should be on the right track as far as um, putting this thing away on the first try. So we got it all Velcroed up. I got the cover pulled down. As you can see, I don't think I'm gonna have any issue getting that closed with the zipper. Now the strap in the front, you can remove this and store it somewhere else, but the chances of me losing it or leaving it at the house when I go on a trip, I like to keep this inside the uh, the awning cover. So what I do is I just take all this, bunch it up and just set it on top. It's like a little shelf right up there. That way I can get the zipper. And then I usually meet the zipper with the other one right here in the middle. And if you open it up about six inches, that'll allow for any kind of moisture or rain that builds up to just drain out right here. Once both straps are tucked in, you simply just take the zipper across. And like I said, I just leave it open. I just leave it open a few inches, let any kind of moisture, anything that's built up in there drain out. Especially since the cover is black, parking in the sun is gonna allow it to heat up and you want that moisture to be able to escape. Otherwise, you're gonna have mold and mildew uh, build in there, so. So there you have it, is the Nature Nest 270 degree awning. It does come with everything you need to mount this on a roof rack. Um, if you have really large bars, kind of like the ones on the runaway camper, you might have to get wider um, U-bolts. But other than that, it does come with U-bolts, all the stainless steel hardware. I believe it's like 10 millimeter or 12 to uh, mount everything together. And like I said, it literally comes with everything you're gonna need. It seems to be a really good awning. Had I known about this awning before we shelled out $1,000 or $1,100 for the OVS, we probably would have went with this one. Um, I like the features that it has the lights built in. OVS did not have that. They're roughly the same size other than, uh, I mean, lengthwise and everything, but the fact that this um, cover is baggier, it's a lot easier to put away. I fight with the uh, OVS every time I use it. Sometimes it's the point where it's annoying, whereas we try not to set it up sometimes, unless there's two of us. But like I said, without a doubt, this one I literally put away with one hand while I held the camera with my other hand. So hands down, much easier to uh, use. You got the lights. It does have the Velcro along the edges. If you wanna enclose it, turn it into a room, add walls for wind. Um, like I said, other than that, it just uh, seems to be a really good awning. And had I known about this one before we spent the money, we could have saved probably 400, 450 bucks. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. There will be a link in the description to the Amazon ad where you can order your own.